So my name is uh, Jim, Jim Mackay. Um, Enrico has been very generous in giving me the opportunity to, to just talk a little bit about um, what matrix uh, and just explain what that is. Um, but first of all, just to introduce myself. Um, so as a day job, I actually work for IBM. I'm a solution architect in our cloud division. Um, so all of the topics that were kind of touched on uh, earlier are um, very familiar with me. Um, I have a background in more traditional on-premise enterprise IT, um, but moved into supporting infrastructure as a service and PaaS uh, a few years ago. So if anyone wants to talk to me about that during any of the breaks, happy to do so. But one of the things, so today it was to talk about what matrix, and this was a, a platform um, that one of my colleagues introduced me to. Um, it's a community platform for essentially publishing um, analysis on IT products. Um, very much community sort of driven, so I've been involved in it um, in helping with some of the, the, the contribution. Um, so it's, the intention behind it is to really provide a new way of offering product insight and evaluation. Um, from a, it, it, it's not just a self-publishing site, so it's not completely open uh, to anyone to just self-publish information, and it is focused on sort of uh, IT industry enterprise products. Um, so it is curated. It's got essentially an onboarding um, process for um, sort of consultants, independent consultants, or IT experts in the industry that might want to increase their sort of personal profile in the industry, their personal brand, um, and it's therefore a platform to allow them to uh, provide insight into their product um, kind of area of expertise. As you can see here, even from this morning, there are some topics that are, are familiar to, to what we discussed this morning. Um, uh, we've got cloud management uh, platforms on there, um, and a whole bunch of other ones, SDS, HCI. Um, so it's very straightforward from a, a site point of view. You just come on. Um, there's no registration um, required uh, to use it. Um, I should mention, I've just got 10 minutes just to quickly introduce this. It's just going to be a quick demo, no presentation or anything. Um, so you just go down. We've got a bunch of kind of comparison categories at the moment, um, but that's we've got more and more people coming on all the time. So we've got quite a lot of momentum uh, in terms of the, the growth, both from people coming on and using the site, um, but also from potential contributors. Um, so we've got about six at the moment. We've got another three coming uh, in the next few months. Um, all flash arrays, ADCs, object storage uh, in terms of comparisons. If I just go into these, um, if I maybe choose virtualization, um, it will just take you through to, uh, hopefully, if the Wi-Fi is actually working here. Let me just. Because I hadn't made the offering to the demo gods, this is one I prepared earlier. Mm -hmm. I just cached it. <laughs> um, so if we go through, basically get a screen where you get to select uh, vendors um, of virtualization products. Um, you get to choose the product and the addition. Um, and then it's basically a red, amber, green type analysis. Um, the consultant, the the contributor to the site basically defines the taxonomy of the comparisons, so all of the, the kind of feature sets. And then it can either be that contributor that owns the whole category or particular subject specialists that then contribute in terms of the, the evaluations. Um, so from the contributor point of view, it's, as I mentioned, to raise their kind of personal, personal, personal profile and give insight. Um, it can also be used, obviously, for their own engagement. So a lot of the time, the consultants do get contacted uh, kind of through the site. Um, from the from user's point of view, it's great in terms of it being sort of independent uh, evaluation of, of products. All of the products are, are kind of free listed. We, we don't um, take payment, um, or the site doesn't take payment for um, listing the, the, the evaluations. Um, and then from the vendor's point of view, they're interested in getting across you know, an, an accurate and up-to-date um, category uh, feature set. Um, so we've got a lot of engagement from, from the vendors themselves. So it's kind of those three sort of pillars, value for end users, value for our contributors, and, and hopefully value for vendors as well in terms of positioning of their products. 
Um, behind each one of these, there's you know lots of information. So you know, if we go into to this, there's typically quite a bit of detailed information. Um, at the moment, we can run basic reports. So this is you know use cases for this type of, of uh, site is you know quick lookup of feature set and, and capability. Um, also analysis in terms of how it fits uh, in terms of competition. So the red, amber, green is an element of kind of subjectivity there. Um, and there are feedback mechanisms. So any of the users of the site, if they actually do register, then get an opportunity to also feedback. So either technical inaccuracies, if there were any, um, but often it's, it's more some technical uh, detail or how it's been evaluated. There is a, a feedback mechanism to do that. As you can see, there's a kind of score ranking. It's very, you know, coarse-grained um, ranking in terms of feature completeness. Um, but really, you know, we're getting a lot of really good feedback on this. And as I say, it's, it's continuing to grow in terms of the uh, range, of, range of categories. Um, some of the stuff that's, that's coming along shortly is, at the moment, you know, we've got the, the individual kind of um, categories and then the feature sets for them. One of the things that's, that you know, see as value for uh, users is the ability to then map onto that use cases. So you know, there's all this raw data, raw, raw analysis. But what we often get from, from also vendors is that there's particular use cases that their products excel at. And, and you know, having some way of surfacing that would be really good. So we're going to implement capabilities, or I believe they're implementing capabilities to um, bring out um, use cases and apply those use cases to kind of overlay on top of the data and then you know multiply certain features or eliminate other ones that aren't relevant to that use case. So just with talking with Enrico, um, thought it'd be really interesting for this audience. Um, as I say, really interested in getting any kind of feedback if there are any um, folks that would be interested in, in either contributing or just giving feedback on it and um, happy to happy to uh, have those discussions and equally vendors there's a lot of vendors of I know uh, what matrix is already in, in contact with uh, to ensure that the information is accurate um, but always happy to, to extend those discussions so that was that was really it, it was just a quick uh, introduction also just wanted to thank uh, Jane Rimmer and there's a few other folks in, in the audience Jane's been been helping out. I know the folks at What Matrix in terms of trying to raise the, the profile amongst the community quite a bit. Um, so very quickly, it was just 10 minutes. Uh, any quick questions just before I go? And obviously, I'll be at the breaks. Very quickly. Um, so this is really cool because obviously you've got an independent view on it. Mm. Um, but if an individual owns any particular subset of the information, how do you arbitrate if somebody so that's, historically disagrees with it? Yeah, so, so that's kind of the, let me just choose another one where we sort of see it. So this is the, this maybe illustrates um, better um, the hierarchy. So here we've got particular experts that are responsible for, you know, Virialize, that's Victor, who's also involved in, in Tech Unplugged, um, Ephraim for, for Cloudboat. But then there's a category owner. In this case, there's a board of people that are essentially, in, you know, providing that, um, Kind of baseline to ensure you know equivalence across the uh, across the products. So there's that sort of hierarchy. Sometimes it can just be this person that owns the whole lot that if they've got insight across a number of a number of products. Um, but a lot of the times, especially as these are evolving and more and more products are coming into some of the categories, it's individual specialists and then having a category owner that that provides that normalised kind of view. You said it was free. Yes. So how how have you done? Um, so it kind of evolved out of uh, individuals wanting, it was basically a colleague of mine um, created virtualization matrix quite a few years ago, and I, I'm conscious of time. Um, but at the moment, there's, there's basically some ad type revenue just to sustain the site, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's not set up, I think, as a not-for-profit, but effectively as a community-led sort of activity. Ultimately, I think there will be an opportunity for this to be kind of a, an engagement mechanism for consultancy and services and things like that. So I think there is a, a, a plan with the What Matrix team that are really leading it to, to get there. Um, but at the moment, it's, it's more about creating value. 